Hey, what is up, children of the Commonwealth? It's Puffa Jelly Beef. I am back with yet another new land mod. I'm getting more proficient with the creation kit, and I'm really finding I'm enjoying it. Except nav and meshing. They can take that nav and meshing. You know what? But anyways, here is my fourth gut go. I've added more to this new world. So like I said, I'm getting more comfortable. And the advice and everything that I'm getting from everybody, I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It has been so helpful with all the advice. So we're back in Concord. Because like I said, I like using Concord because you have all these empty buildings where you can stick some doors. And Concord never really changes. So you know your door's not going to get affected anyhow. But let's get inside and we'll take a look at Peacock Point. So here we are, we're at Peacock Point, and I did the boat again with the door, but this time instead of having it out in the water, I actually made this nice little pier with a couple boats, a little swan boat. I even added some water pier fires. I did not add the generator and I did not add the settlement beat. I added that myself in build menu when I come in here. So that's not included and here's the defense. But you have this great dock, a little pier house here. And then what I've done over here for the caravans, I've also set up a little area for the caravans. Nice little roaring fire to keep them warm. Of course, lighthouse. Now, I was worried about this hill, but I was able to navamash it. And as you can see, they have no problem coming up and down the hills. Now, the dog you see here is from a mod called Animal Rescue. And what that allows you to do is there's various animals throughout uh, the Commonwealth that you can adopt. It's a, it's a great little mod. As you see, we have one settler over here. He is assigned. I picked him up at Mystic Pines. He looked lonely, so I picked him and actually him and the dog. And as you can see, I've added some houses. But there is still tons and tons of area for you to put in your own little touches. Now, what I've done down here is I've kind of made like a little beach area. So we got like the, the uh, patio tables here, a little rock beach, some benches that they can sit at and just literally just relax or you can jump in the water, go for a swim. And then I put these little stone benches in with a little fire so like I said I am getting more proficient at the creation kit I'm starting to be able to add more like I have this little water area in here for the water purifiers with some rocks around it just you know like a little a little rock pool and then what I did behind the houses was I put some cliffs in so they are all circled within kit, uh, the cliffs so like it is another large area. I, I like making these new lands with big areas because there's some builders out there and they do some fantastic builds. So I figured, you know, make a couple new land mods, big mass, massive land uh, that they can build. Of course, there's your workbench with a little light over it. And then as you see, here's where I've done all the cliffs. So I kind of surrounded the houses with a little bit of rocks. So there we have it ladies and gentlemen, my fourth go around with the creation kit. This is Peacock Point. If you've enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. The algorithm will love you, I'll love you, everyone will love you. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button, move your mouse a little to the right, and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And always remember, wherever the journey takes you, may the road rise up to greet you. I'm Jellybean, and thank you so very much for watching.